So, in a world peace, welcome to this. Welcome to this new cycle of inner world peace, where we bring our mind and our heart and our body and our spirit into consciously creating inner peace in ourselves and in the world. So soon we're going to go together to the meditation of the Ponopono Mantra, where we can sing together. You can listen and do it, but you can also sing. And I'm very much encouraging you to sing in a small voice or in a hum in any way that you would like, because it's just expanding beyond thinking, and it is bringing into feeling, into expressing. It's very good. I can talk a lot about singing and how it is great for everyone. It doesn't have to be pretty, believe me. Okay, so in this Haponopono Mantra, we are um, connecting, of course, into our own particular story of what we are doing so when you are singing the mantra you are doing it for yourself and only after you filled up yourself you're expanding it into the rest of the people around you to your family and to the world yes so there is a lot of tension in the world about health and people can be worried and this is what we would like to address today we would like to address the centering and the connecting into this healing that we are um, are doing so um, we are praying for the strength of health and the strength of collaborations that humans are going to take this crisis and bring it into another level of understanding of what is the world need to become in order for us to live happily and healthily uh, in it? So it will bring uh, insights and bravery and break old molds and release the human potential to come up with solutions and come up with a heart connectedness uh, for communities to figure out how to um, overcome this crisis. Um, so this is our focus for this time and I would like us to have a little meditation face to face before we will go to the meditation so let's just have one big breath Hold. bring it down we'll do it two more times just to anchor ourselves bring it down Allow yourself to bring that playfulness that you naturally have in order to um, dismantle some of this heavy energy. Yes. Anything that you feel that needs to move around you in order to clean your own energy and expand and release some of the fear. Do it now. This is the time. Feel also the back of your body. And bring this light that is coming in into your environment, into your room. You can do that really just by, by commanding. The meditation will make it stronger, but you can do it already now. You are the commander. It takes really no time to make it happen. So expand this light and calm into your home or wherever you are, into your street into your neighborhood and city and know that you are connected to a lot of other beings that are doing the same and maybe different methods but there are many people who are using their light energy to expand new light and new permission and new insight and i feel that there is pain around the heart energy so there's also a lot of grief that is going around there's old grief from humanity stories from different places of the earth. We don't even need to deeply go to understand what it is. If we can truly feel it, we are already creating the transformation. So if you just put the hands around your heart and help yourself activate the power of your heart, which is beyond measure, take another breath. Oh, 
And the only thing I would like you to do is to give permission for this grief to feel itself. There is grief about death, about sickness, about other times, other experiences we remember on the earth, the powerlessness of someone we love that is sick, or ourselves that are sick. And just allow yourself to feel, I feel it now here. We're expressing it. It's okay that it's vulnerable, it's okay. Take one more breath, allow yourself to feel. And allow yourself to sit and to take this energy to go through your whole body. So it wants to move, it doesn't want to stay stuck needs to move. So we are holding this. So we say into that energy, I see you, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. We will do that also when we do the meditation together. Take one more breath and allow it to go through your body. And you can even touch your legs and bring it down. Good. See if there is another place that is a little bit stiff. Of course, want to open channels. So the neck, let yourself massage your neck. That area of the brain where fear and reptilian fears are here. Just allow yourself to move this forward. I messed up my hair now. <laughs> yeah, so, so this let this neck be free. Let's brush our shoulder. We're becoming a bit physical, but okay. Cannot help myself. It's not a workshop, but <sighs> and now ha happily tap on your heart. <laughs> Let's not let it be stuck. Right? Let's let this grief be free. It's already much better. Better at the same intention. Send this knowledge of how to release fear to everything that we can reach. Yeah, feel the top of your head. And allow that from the back of your head to feel a sense of protection of the highest and purest unconditional love and light to come and come through your head, to your shoulder, to your back, to your pelvis, two legs on the floor. Okay, I hope that feels better. Mm -hmm. And now with your beautiful permission, join me in this next meditation so you can sing and take this deep further of nurturing yourself and liberating yourself from tension and sending the Aponopono prayer to the world. So I need to take us there. So let's go there and yes. We will go here. Thank you for bearing with me. All right, you ready? Beautiful. Mm. You are welcome to join us in this inner world peace. In this Haponopono mantra, you are going to bring yourself into inner peace and help us all create a beautiful field of light.
in this intense but special time, we need to be mindful about how we use our personal power. You have so much power in your mind, in your body, in your heart, and in your spirit. And those four voices can help you create the world that you want for yourself. And together we can create the world that we want for ourselves and our children. The first power is the power of your spirit and your intention that you bring into this mantra. Our intention is to create inner peace in ourselves and outside ourselves. Your second voice and power is the power of your mind and the ability to focus and visualize what we are creating. We are focusing on seeing the field of light of people that are joining and lighting themselves up into the same intention. Your third voice is of your physical voice where you bring your body and your singing voice into this mantra to bring yourself the joy and expression that comes with your voice and singing. The last voice is the voice of your feeling heart. You bring your feeling into this mantra so you can expand yourself and share your beauty with us. Take one big breath and allow yourself to feel your body from your toes to your belly to your head. Bring an inner smile on your face. Take another breath. Feel the area of your heart and picture a person, a place or an animal that makes you feel love. Take another breath and expand your heart also to the back of your body and know that now with this mantra you're going to expand your love to yourself. In this Haponopono prayer we will use four sentences and you are directing that to yourself as a child. The purpose is to create self-love and self-forgiveness and to bring inner peace. Allow yourself to feel all that you feel and connect to all of us who are just doing the same. So here we go. We connect our inner voice with the intention to create inner peace and world peace. We connect our mind voice to visualize, picture yourself as a child or a person that you love. And allow yourself to see all of the lights of other beings who are doing the same. With your voice you can sing, with no expectation or judgment, just as you are. And with the voice of your heart, you allow yourself to feel. One big breath. And let's start.
Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel more at peace. I wish you all the light that you can receive and that your vessel will expand so you can receive more and feel anchored and peace in yourself. Thank you. Kenya Yuvatsoli. Big love.